Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and we've got another Fly Sky Basics video right here. We're talking about the FSI6X and this will also be the same for the i6 as well if that's what you have. And today we're talking about the fail safe. The fail safe is like one of the most important things that you can possibly set up on your transmitter. What you want to do first is take off your propeller because this thing will slice and dice if you're not careful. So take that off whenever you're messing with the settings on your transmitter and that sort of thing. So in case you don't know the fail safe, what that is, is that it tells your receiver what to default to in case you lose connection with your transmitter. So if you fly out of range of your transmitter, maybe your batteries go dead, something happens and your airplane or quadcopter loses uh, connection, then that is, the, you know, whatever you have it set to is what your airplane is going to do. Now, if you don't have a failsafe set up, what's going to happen is your, air, your motor's spinning, okay, and then your transmitter goes dead. Uh, still spinning. Still spinning. Okay, so you see that's not good. So if you were at full power, Bye bye airplane, you're not gonna see that thing again. Usually what you have it do is just have it so that it kills the motor and sometimes you can change other stuff. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So here we are in the main screen of our transmitter. What you wanna do is press and hold okay. And that's gonna take you into the menu. We wanna be in the system menu. And then we're going to scroll down to RX setup. Press okay to go into there. Scroll down to fail safe. Press OK. Now you'll notice the fail safe, everything is off. And when the fail safe is off, what that means is that it's inactive. So you have not set up a fail safe is what that means. Now there's some really important parts here. We're going to use the up and down keys to scroll or the down key to scroll to channel three because that's what we have our motor on. That's the standard motor channel. Um, and so what you want to do is press OK and we're going to get in here and all the way down, this, this right here is showing the throttle position and all the way down is where we want the throttle. I mean, except for in some cases, but that's, that's how I always have it. Just have it kill the motor because then, you know, it won't fly off and it won't keep spinning and it's a lot safer that way. Now what we're going to do is press the up and down, up or down key again to set this to on. And then we want to press and hold cancel. Okay, and see, so now you can see it says negative 100%. That's what we want. Okay, now the really, really, really important part is you have to press and hold cancel again in order to save it. Okay, so let's go back into the fail safe to make sure that it's there. It is there, negative 100%. So our fail safe is good. We can exit out of here. And now we're going to test our fail safe. You always want to test your fail safe. Um, especially when you set it up and I, I suppose maybe periodically just to make sure that it's working. So again, we do not have a propeller on our motor and what we're going to do is raise the throttle and then shut off the transmitter. Now we're going to shut it off. There we go. Now, just a side note, if you want to get fancy and, and you want to like test things out, you know, if you're a little bit more advanced, what you might do is uh, you might um, you know, set it up so that, you know, you give it a little bit of up elevator um, in here when you, when the fail safe kicks in. That way your airplane might, instead of like nosing down and just diving, it might kind of glide better or, it, you know, kind of go into like more of a uh, controlled descent. And the way to do that would be to just go back into our fail safe uh, setup here and then we're gonna, this is gonna be channel two, for example, like for the elevator, because that's usually the most important one, uh, you know, in order to keep you from nose diving. Um, so let's scroll down to channel two right here, and then you can see we're basically at the zero point, you know, in the center. And so what we'd wanna do is bring this down a little bit. And the reason why it's going in that direction is because I have this, I actually have this channel reversed, but like we talked about in another video, but don't worry about that. But the point is you wanna move this and notice the elevator here. It's moving a little bit, right? So maybe maybe you want like just that much. So once you get the right amount of, of deflection that you want, go ahead and select, make sure this is set to on, and then we're going to press and hold cancel. Okay, and you'll notice this says set uh, 32%, okay? And again, yours might say negative 32%. It's just because I had to res reverse the channel. 
to make this servo work. And so what you want to do is press and hold cancel again. And then now let's try out that uh, that fail safe on here. So now we just turn off our transmitter. And then you can see that it defaults to a slightly up angled position. So that just tells the servo what position to have. So this could be a good thing or possibly a bad thing, uh, but you should probably test it out. And it might save you a plane to keep it from nose diving. There you go, folks. Now, maybe if your transmitter poops out, you won't lose your airplane or chop anything up accidentally. Thanks for thanks 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 so thanks so much for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you like what you see and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Just another um, simple video I want to put out there for the Fly Sky fam. So if you're part of the Fly Sky fam and you fly fly, if you. Ah, as always, if you have any comments or questions about this or Fly Sky type of stuff, leave me a comment and hopefully I or someone else will be able to help you. Thanks for watching and I will see you again very soon.